Welcome to the final race of the season here at Meadowlands Speedway. A very short series season for a series that look extremely big. Of course, this track hosts all the yeah, hold on. Start your this, yes, this is the track that hosts the final race of the season in all in yeah in all the rookie series and the IROC series. The IROC might change the schedule again. So it's going to be Kevin Carter and Jared Cook. And problems with the 30 truck again. Wow. Not the way I want to end the season. I want to end the season on a high note. Well, Rusty Boninski, he's out of contention most likely. Uh, well, Seth Rawls is actually third in points, but might not have a chance. I don't think he does. Really, I don't know. Maybe. You never know. And there's your points leader. With three wins of the season, and only leading about 64 points, I think. And they're in second place in points. Cook, in a 77. Zero wins this season, but he has a shot at the championship. 106 at one point. I thought he was going to be one of them, but no. Sadly, he isn't. Donald Brown in a three, going to lead the field. So, you haven't won a race this season, better win one now. Everyone, the other two, well, Jack Carter and Cook are going to go for double trophies. Kind of, yeah, and go for double trophies. Green flags out. Here we go. <coughs> oh, yellow flag's out already, and we got ourselves a crash, and whoa! Yellow flag flies. Oh, that's a heartbreaker. I say that a lot because it is. Oh, we got more trouble. More trouble. More trouble. Mega trouble. See, I told you. Oh, the 66 is involved. Oh, no. The 77 made it through clean. No. Oh, no. No, 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 no. That's not good. That is not good. Racing back to the line. A 62 got damaged as well. He was second at the time. And Donald Brown and the three will take the yellow flag. What the hell just happened? They all wrecked. Wow. So Brown the leader. We'll take a look at the replay. So Sean Morgan in the 18. He got a little shove from the 0-2. He jumped to the middle. Hooked him and turned him into the wall. Collected the 87 as well. And he got more wrecks. 31, 49, 16, double zero. And there's that hit. Kevin Carter. Oh, that's going to hurt him a lot. And there's Cook in the 77 who's right there. And there's that other hit by the 106. Keep saying 06. I don't know why. Not even saying triple digit numbers. And right there, there's a hit. And Dylan Narone is 24, right behind the 106 as well. Cook was able to make it through without any damage. Maybe a couple scratches, but that's it. You know, the RCR teammates. Oh. He dumped them. And he took the 7 and the 22 as well. Ken Narone was not going to escape that. And actually, Cameron did. But Ken did not. And look at the 87, no choice. So oh, look, everyone just swerve and go all over the place. And the 31, nowhere to go on the outside. Runs right into Jamal songs and a seven. Everyone's scattering all over the place, all over the place, try to get some positions and all that stuff, avoiding the wreck. Wow, that was crazy. We'll take you back. Coming to the green, two trucks out, 3101 and the 106. The 30 truck is a lap down, 37th. He is out there. There's the 15. Whole front is ripped off. They still out there. Brown, Dalio, Nikki. Top three drivers on that one this season. And you got Megan and Reese. Reese has not even won the season yet either. Surprised everyone. Brandon has not won. Uh, surprise. We have not. Why did they? I don't know. Yeah. If lots of drivers that we expect to win at least one race have not won. Could change the day though. Who's gonna win this one? Here we go. Waiting, 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 waiting. Will we get another wreck on the green? I hope not. Oh, this is a good camera. Angle to see if they are. Green flag waves, here we go. Someone's gonna wreck. Oh, not yet. No one wrecked yet. Oh, we're still green. This is our longest green flag run into turn one. 
Cameron is still out there, still fast, still got a shot to win this thing. Things mangled. Looks kind of mangled. Whoa, whoa, trouble! Here, Chris Washer in the 26 goes around. Last race winner. Oh boy. Oh, the 77 is in the mix. Oh shit, you got a lot of trucks. Oh, major wreck. Yellow flag is out. Race it back. They're already on the front stretch. That was fast. The three of Donald Brown looks like he's gonna lead another one. There it is. Second yellow flag. Brown leading. Oh, we'll take a look at the replay, like always. Well, Connor Breeden in a 57 takes out Washer, who won Armory Digital. Cameron gets squeezed again, but he's able to drive away again. He goes around, and Joe Roberts, first hit, and Nicole in the 64, much bigger hit. And then Allen in the 5, 29, Rogers, Bluck, how, how the hell did these two drivers wreck? You, whoa, whoa, the, oh, okay, got right into the 29. Got a big hit from Peter Luck, both, lots of damage on Luck's truck. Terrible season for him. And there's Eric Powers in the 30. Yep, not the way you want to end the season. Sean Morgan didn't talk for like two seconds. Nicole's won one race this season, now it's a diamond ridged. She's not going to win another one. Not a way you want to end the season, of course, but, you know. And there's a 77. has got rear end damage. I don't know about that. He looks fine, maybe. You never know once they drop the green flag again. We'll take you back to the restart. And there it is, green flag. Accelerate too much for a second. Wasn't paying attention to Matt Delio. And the 73 got a terrible, terrible restart. And they're all just pushing each other into turns. Oh, someone's gonna get out of line here. Or someone's gonna get dumped. They stay perfectly single file still. Some drivers pull to the inside. But this whole line, they're all perfect. Single file. Whoa, Noodles and Mew almost. Almost. Four wide and Brandon losing a lot of spots. Went four wide. And there's Reese in number 99. Hoping to win. Donald Brown's also hoping to win. Megan is going to open trying to get another win. And oh, there it is. Yellow flag is out once again. What, ha what happened? What happened? I don't, I don't see it. Well, Donald Brown leads. We'll take a look at the replay. Well, the 15. And, um, yeah, the 15. Camelton right there. Jay Camelton. He got turned by the 10 into the wall he went. Well, he was only going like, what, 140 miles an hour? And oh, the 77 got collected. There goes his hopes. And whoa! That was close. That ended right there. There goes Cook's hopes of winning this championship without a win. He was 27th at the time. He could have worked his way back up to the front, but that's it. It's done. There goes his championship. We'll take you back. Alright, here we go. 35 trucks remain. Whew. Base truck heading in. Here we go. Green flag. Here we go. Back underway. Hopefully no more. Well at least get one green flag lap so how many Sh Chevrolets have won this season well let's see let me see if I can remember all the winners 7, the 26 the 10 the uh... who else I'm trying to remember all of them best I can and whoa the 59 is all the way up there uh, not a lot Oh wait, a 72 as well. That's someone I counted. I don't remember all of them, but I'll count them later on. But the fours are the one. They 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 are consistent. It looks like Megan Ewins will lead that lap. 
First lap completed under green, we got Chevrolet, one, two, three. I wonder if the 42 can win this championship. Can he? Uh, whoa, whoa, trouble, here we go. Oh, there goes the 99. Oh boy, here we go again. Here we go again. Oh my god, I got a truck upside down. Mew's flipping like crazy, and he's sitting last in points, and probably he's gonna finish last in points as well. And Seth Rollins in a 42 is the leader. Megan Evans, John Magnet Jr., and that was a close one. Almost wrecked. Those other drivers. So Rawls will take over. The lead. There it is. Yellow flag is out. We'll take a look at the replay. Look at Matt Dalio in a 73. Took Donald Brown. Those two almost took out Megan Evans. Donald went to the wall and he couldn't drive away. Reese and um, Mason Powers. And Mew, there's the 37, who just toppled right over. He was involved in that wreck too. It's currently running probably the best race of the season for him. He has zero top fives and only probably like one or two top tens. Connor Breen redirected him right in front of Rusty Bobninski in the 22. And he gets turned over. And then goes for a couple more rolls. And comes to a complete stop right there. Whew. Disappointing season for Patrick Mew. He's just glad it's all over now. We'll take you back. Alright, here we go. Coming to the green. 34 trucks remain. Only 5 of them out so far. So the 77 is 25th. Two spots better than last time we've talked, we viewed him. And Carter is in 14th. And Seth Rawls, top in third. He, I think he has a chance, but those two other drivers have to finish extremely bad, poorly. But five of those spots have already been filled up. But 34th, 33rd, 32nd are still you know, still there. So, yeah, you never know what's going to happen. Here we go. Green flag. Can't believe one of the rookies are actually in this. Ever since we saw the dominance of the, uh, much with the, uh, pro drivers. 42 has zero win, but he has been getting racking up those top fives and top tens and good finishes. It's incredible when I don't notice these drivers. I always because every time when we talk about these other drivers, we usually see what it's usually because they or they crash and stuff and wreck. But then you end up looking at the standings and they're like there, they're like second, third, fourth, fifth, and all, and you know in contention for a championship. And they have not won a race. We have not seen them run in top five but actually they have been we just weren't talking about them so Rawls does have a shot to win it Megan Evans the two Joshua Dalio to the inside Noodles the Dalios I don't think they have won a race Noodles have not won John has won once Mickey Corp zero Marco has come close a few times Michael Dalio, no. Brandon, no. Orius, no. Brooks, no. Dalio, no. Rogers, twice. Dylan, no. Carter, three times. Powers, once. No. No. No, no, no. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. 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 I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I'm, I'm, I've got to, we've got to check. Raw leads another one. I already got five bonus points for leading the most laps. Kevin Carter's 15th, and Cook is in 29th. And oh, we got trouble! Marco Martinez in the double zero gets turned around again. He goes around, and no one, I don't think anyone's going to hit him. Caution flag is out. 11 of Noodles to the inside. He's won here once. That was a very, very long time ago. And he's going to try to take the lead here. Will we get it? I don't know. I don't think Seth Rawls is gonna get it. Here he come. Will he beat him? Oh, he bought. He beat him. Yo. Oh. Oh no. 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 Noodles got him. Noodles got him. Wow. That was extremely close. I thought Seth Rawls got it. Huh. Weird. Well, let's take a look at the replay. I mean, once again, Marco gets turned around, and oh, Oris almost got turned around too. But Corbin, Joshua Delio. 
They made contact and got into the double zero. And the only truck to spin around once again happened on Armory Digital as well. Yeah. Disappointing. He has not won a race. He's, we always thought he had a shot to win one. And he probably could win one. But, uh... I don't think it's going to get one today. Maybe in a different series. But it won't win as a rookie. That's a cool accomplishment when you win a race on uh, being a rookie. That's pretty cool. Well, let's take you back to the restart. Come to the green here. And John Magna Jr. is heading down pit road. He's currently on the first apron. And yeah. Still on the first apron. Let's actually consider a second one, I don't know, never mind, okay. The follow pace truck to pit road. Noodles in the 11 is the leader. Here we go. Green flags out. Back underway. Tons of trucks who have not won a race this season are really, really working extremely hard in this one. Because they just want to win a race before the season is over and they have one more shot to do it. Or maybe someone's going to try to... Oh! Trouble the 94! My god, look at how sideways that truck was. I don't believe it. On that first apron. To the front. Back into the pack. Oh, the 29 almost gets turned by Carter in the 66. Close. Very close. And here comes a 42 back to the front. And he'll take it. He'll lead another. Heart pounding moment. If can the 42 win this? I, I, maybe. I don't, I really don't know. But here comes Michael Daly in the 87. All over him. He might turn him. Just pushing on him. On the, pushing on, on the back stretch. Hopefully we can just keep it green all the way. 10 now pushing on the 16. I could have called it a wreck. They're okay for now. They look okay. They look clean. It looks like they're racing clean, giving each other a ton of room. 42 is going to lead another. He's probably going to lead the most laps. I think. 5 to go. Left that Meadowland Speedway. Michael Delia in the 87 is in 2nd. Making 3rd, 4th, Noodles and 5th, Nikki. They're pushing each other, look at that. Pushing into turns on a flat track like this actually benefits the driver. Most of the time. Look at four truck tandem, only at this racetrack. I think, whoa! A little bit, oh, a little bit of contact, more contact, whoa! Michael Dillon hung on, he didn't lift at all. He's gonna try to take the lead, I think he will take the lead. Damage at the back end. And he's there up front, Brandon. All the way, okay, not all the way to the bottom, but... Right there. In the middle, actually. Rawls let another one. There's the 66, 15 still. Behind Reese. Jackson in the number 99. Michael Delio is now the leader. Finally takes the lead away from the rookie. Noodles and Seth are going after each other. Noodles to the bottom, and he's going to try to steal the lead once again. Lots of Toyotas in our sight right now. Got a couple Chevys and not a lot of Fords, considering they are the dominant manufacturer this season. In our, in our sights, like in this lead pack. The 7371 is there. I know Rogers, he has no shot at winning this one, but he would like to get a third win. No 10th, no, whoa! 42, knocked the 87 up high. Could that be retaliation? Because Michael almost turned to 42 at one point. And I think Rawls was there to send a message. Emily Brooks, oh boy. And Noodles now gets up into the wall. Did the 42 make contact again? He gets put in the wall. Wow. And Megan Evans is now the leader. At 59 to the bottom. It's gonna come to two laps to go. Two to go. Here we go. Two laps remaining. These drivers are racing extremely hard. Brooks jumped to the outside. Brandon was pushing hard in the turns. I doubt they're going to make it. 
Michael's not gonna bother with the 42. He's just gonna push that 49 and try to go right by. Nicky Corp in the front now. Another rookie trying to go for a first win. Brandon has not won the race this season. He might get one here tonight. I mean today. What do I say tonight for? Here he goes to the inside. Lots of contact all over the place. The 42 now falling back. Oh no. He was up front for like the second half after the last caution. And Brandon is, ha is now the leader. He has not won a race this season. He might get one today, but here comes Matt Daly who's running all the way at the back. Gets a push from Michael Daly on his 87. He's pushing to the front and oh, near trouble. Jennifer Daly almost got turned around again. And here comes a 2042 back to the front. He's there. He is there. Michael Daly on the 87 hanging on. Here comes Seth Rawls in the 42. Unbelievable comeback within a lap. He's going to take it. He's going to steal the lead. He's going to steal the win. Checker flag is out. And Seth Rawls is going to win at Meadowland Speedway. How the hell did he do that? I don't believe it. And we got trouble at the end. Someone got turned around. We don't know who though. But wow. What a finish. 14th for Kevin Carter. Rawls victorious. First win of the season. He's third in points. Probably going to be second in points now. Maybe the champion. We've got to see. We've got to add those points up. How the hell did he do that? i got to see that. Unbelievable. What a race. What a race. How aggressive they were at the end. I cannot believe that rookie stole the win after falling back. Oh, well, let's take a look at the forest results. So, Seth Rawls, Michael Daly, Emily Brooks, Matt Daly, Sam Rogers, Brandon Nicholas Orius, Nikki Corbin, Nudo Zuli, Jennifer Dalio, your top 10. 34 trucks finished the race. Only five trucks retired. Kind of crazy. And I have to see that 42. You saw where he was. And look, look at this. We crossed the line. There are four wide over here. Wait, what am I doing? Take a look at this whole lap for the 42. The final lap. He crossed the line ninth. Okay. So he's just driving along. Passes another two trucks. Okay. And alright. He's like, sorry. He's already back in the top five. I'm just going to fall back even more. And oh, there's the trouble right there. Okay, now he's probably in sixth right now. He's going to make it three wide. And then he takes over. And that's when I just started noticing. Man. I don't believe it. He just stole the win away from two professional drivers, uh, pro drivers, Michael and Matt Dalio. And yeah, Rawls just took it. And there's the contact right there. There's a spin of Rogers. What a save! What a save by Rogers getting fifth. But I know fifth, that's not what he wanted. He wanted the win. So yeah. Well, let's take it to victory lane now. Well, yeah, we'll add up the points and see who wins the championship. So, this is the final point standings. Kevin Carter is your champion ending off the season with three wins. I thought he was going to lose the championship after a lot of poor finishes near the end of the season but the halfway point curse did not get him Rawls with led the most laps won the race 67 points finished second hell that's more than I don't know that's more than enough than what the team need wants but he got it he got second you know a lot of people don't like second but he's a rookie and wow outstanding performance not the well yeah okay Never mind. Cook with zero wins and not the season. Third, Sam Rogers gained one more spot in fourth. Rusty, fifth. Emily Cup went up five spots. Six, Cameron up one. Seventh, as well as the 36 up one. John lost three. Matt went up five. Orius went up two. Joshua down two. Reese up one. Henry Powers down seven. Jamal down three. Washer remained in 16th. Wow, I saw him all the way at the back in the points earlier, and then he got those two wins and got 16th. Mason up one, Ken up three, Allen remained in 19th. Winless season for him as 
Doubt he will come off strong with wins in the Fluttershy and the um, Sportsman Series. So, Morgan lost three. Charles Sanford went up one. Another driver who's won a race. Calvin went down two. Jennifer Dilly up two. Joel Roberts, Donald Brown down one. Brandon up one. Michael down up now up two. Dylan up three. Marco down one. Noodles up three. And man, Marcos, he actually finished 29th. Wow, he only gained, he only f got one top 10, I think. Wait, let me ch see. Yeah, he only got one top 10. Huh. I thought he had more than that. Noodles up three. John down one. Eric down six. Nikki up one. Nicole up down two. Megan Evans up one. The lowest finisher with the win. Connor down one. Peter, Brooke, and Patrick Mew. No change remained the same. Full statistics. Here it is. Got five. It's all in order because they don't do qualifying. Most wins, of course, Carter with three. Washer Rogers, the two drivers with two. Charles Sanford and Jamal Smith with one. Top fives, Cook with the most. Jamal, Joshua Carter, and Seth with four. Top tens, Jerry with eight. John Magna Jr. with seven. Carter, Rogers, Seth Brawls with six. Lee. Most polls, Ken and Morgan with two. Cameron Connor and Donald with one. Most laps, Seth with 261. Carter with 252. Rusty with 245. Roger with 243. Cook with 242. Most laps, Carter with 23. Emily with 18. Rawls with 16. Wash with 14. And Cameron with 13. Most miles, Seth Rawls 430. Carter with 428. Roger with 414. Cook with 411. And Rusty with 406. General stats, fastest, fastest average at Coca-Cola Super Speedway. Kevin Carter was the winner. Slowest average was at Tennessee Super Speedway. Rogers was the winner. Biggest margin was at Armory Digital. The closest margin was at Diamond Ridge. Fastest pole, slowest pole is the same thing. The most lead change was at Daytona. Most leaders was at Daytona. Most yellow was at Metal Lands with five. Most cars running was at, or trucks running was at Daytona. And most things with that, I'll take it. So that concludes season three of the Reese's Rookie Series. We'll hopefully, we'll see you in the next se season and the upcoming series. And that, yeah, that's it. So, yeah. I'm, um, yeah, okay.